Hey there, Brian Goulet here of GouletPens.com, and I uh, did a video a little while ago about sheening inks, and it was really popular. Got some questions about shimmering inks. There's been a lot of those that have come out since that video, so I wanted to put this one out to explain to you about shimmering inks a little bit. Now, the thing about shimmering inks is they're not drastically different than your conventional fountain pen inks. It's essentially conventional ink with some, you know, sparkles added to it. So when you put it down, it looks very kind of glittery. Now one thing about these inks is a lot of people think that using them will somehow damage their pen because it is kind of an unconventional kind of thing. But really it's, it's not that different. It's still safe to use in pretty much any fountain pen. The only thing about it is you may want to just take a little bit extra care when it comes to cleaning your pen because these sparkles tend to like to hang out in your pen a little bit. Obviously, if you have anything you're particularly concerned about, is any particularly rare or irreplaceable, then you know, use your own judgment about whether you want to do that. Inks that are currently on the market right now for this kind of shimmering quality, the Jerobon 1670 line is really popular for that. The Diamond Shimmer Tastic, boy, they really leaned into the name on that one. That whole line has these kind of sparkles in them. And then Diatramentis, the brand from Germany, is toying around with that. So you might see some of that online as well and more coming in development. Now, I know you're probably curious as far as how you get the most sparkle out of your shimmering inks. Well, I got some tips for you to make it easier to have a better experience, and I'm gonna take you through each one. So the first one is how to actually fill your fountain pen. The first step is in how you handle the bottle. So that because you got these little extra sparkles in there, it's actually a particulate that's in the ink. So it's gonna fall out of suspension and fall to the bottom of the bottle. So you wanna shake it before you use it. And you don't wanna shake it really aggressively and really go crazy with it because then you're gonna cause a bunch of air bubbles to come in there. And then when you fill your pen, those air bubbles will be in your pen and it's gonna break the capillary action. So you'll probably have issues with stopping and starting and things like that. You wanna shake it gently, just kinda of rock it back and forth. It might take you a few extra seconds to do it this way, but then you're not gonna have all these crazy bubbles that are gonna screw up your flow. So after you shake it, you'll then wanna fill your pen relatively quickly after that. I think you'll see maybe in the first 10 to 15 seconds after you stop shaking it, the particulate will start to drop down in the ink. So you wanna fill it up right away. Then once the ink is in your pen, you have to kind of keep the ink moving the whole time. Because again, that particulate is going to want to fall out even when it's in the pen. Especially if you're using a demonstrator pen, you can actually see where the shimmer part is falling out. So you want to just either kind of rock it back and forth, you know, end to end gently, or you kind of roll it in your hands, kind of like you're making a Play-Doh snake, you know, and just keep the ink moving so that particulate stays in there. If you shake your pen too aggressively, then you're going to end up getting a whole bunch of ink in your cap, and that's not going to really be good. You're probably going to want to take some extra consideration when you're cleaning out your pen that you've used some kind of shimmering ink in it. Because it's a physical particulate, it might take a little extra time to do it. One tip that can really help is using a toothbrush, just an old toothbrush. Um, it's very gentle on the feed and it's not going to cause you a lot of trouble, especially if you can take the feed out of the pen. That can really be a great help in physically removing those sparkles. You are probably going to need to take more cycles of flushing out the pen uh, when you're cleaning it, so just kind of take that into account. And then if it's really stubborn, you can use a pen flush, like some actually flushing solution. That can help to move those sparkles out of there too. So you're probably curious now, if you've got one of these inks, which pens actually work the best with this shimmering ink? Well, basically anything that writes really, really wet, the more of this ink that you put down, the better those sparkles are gonna show up. So particularly if you're using a flex pen, like maybe a Noodler's Ahab or something like that, uh, anything with a broad nib uh, can certainly work. Italic nibs or stub nibs tend to work pretty well too, but really anything that writes with a particularly wet flow. You can even use things with finer nibs. It doesn't have to be really broad nibs. Those just tend to generally be wetter, but sometimes there's pens that write finer and they can get a good amount of shimmer to them as well as long as they write really wet. So it's not necessarily the nib size indicator that matters as much. It's really how wet the pen flows. The fun part is in the experimentation. The last consideration has really nothing to do with the ink or the pen itself. It's about your paper. So many people are completely unaware how big of an impact paper can have on really any pen performance, but specifically the shimmering ink. If you have a really absorbent paper, it's just gonna suck all that sparkle down into it. So you wanna go with something that's really ink resistant. Something like the Tomoe River, which is probably the best paper out there for shimmering inks. And you can even get these available in Goulet notebooks. Clairefontaine Triumph works really well. Most Rhodia paper actually works pretty well. And a nice laser copy paper can work really well too. 
Papers that are less ideal for this kind of thing or more absorbent are things like inkjet copy paper, most moleskin notebooks, uh, composition notebooks, and pretty much all recycled paper too. So hopefully now, if you are curious about these inks and were maybe a little hesitant, you have a little more information now, you feel a little more empowered, or if you have these inks already and just didn't know how to use them best, now you have a way to do that even better. You can check out more information on gouletpens.com. We have both bottles and samples of a lot of these shimmering inks that you can try out, and you can leave us comments on the blog or on YouTube if you want to know more. I would be curious to know what your favorite shimmering ink is. My personal one is J.R. Bond Emerald of Shimmering. War. If you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, you should definitely do that so you can get more sweet videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching and right on.